Good morning, good morning, good morning. Y'all come on, say when we wake up and where, wake up and where, wake up and where. <laughs> Listen, good morning and welcome to, it's a Monday morning, welcome to another um, broadcast of Wake Up and Win Live with your girl, Dr. Najuma. So glad to be on with you all this morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, I know my my aesthetics do not match. <laughs> they do not match, but this is very comfortable and light and cool. You can see hot and um, setting the hair, setting the hair for the day. So we're a little mitchy match right now, but it's okay. It's 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 a Monday, right? And these things happen on Monday. But I'm super excited to be on with you all this morning to share with you today's win word. Um, but before I do that, let me reintroduce myself. I'm your girl, Dr. Najuma. I'm a pastor, spiritual growth coach, um, and I do a lot of community and civic engagement work here and around the city of Los Angeles. And I use this platform as a mother who's lost a child and gone through divorce and some other uh, pretty big losses. Um, I use this platform to offer a daily win word because here's what I know to be true. After everything I've been through, all that I've experienced, what I know to be true is you can go through a major loss, recover, restore, rebuild, and get back out there and win again. You can go through a major loss, recover, restore, rebuild and then get back out there and win again. So I use this platform and all of my experience, all of my knowledge to offer a daily win word that can help you um, meet you where you are and hopefully give you some encouragement and inspiration so you too can go whatever loss you've gone through, recover, restore, rebuild, and get back out there and win again. So let's get into today's win word, which is navigating the unexpected, navigating the unexpected. I had a huge revelation recently where I was in a conversation and on my way to the conversation or on my way to the meeting, I was thinking about how did I land here? How did I land here? Um, And things being where they are um, a little, things being where they are, but it's so far, so far from where I expected them to be. Let me say it that way. I had to have a meeting about where things are And the need for the meeting is because things are so far from what was expected. And I had to start, I start the meeting by saying to the individual, let me say this to you. Where I am today, how I'm navigating life today was not the plan 10 years ago, eight years ago, seven years ago, six years ago. Where I am today in the last 10 years, there's been so much so many, there have been several huge losses. Let me say that. There have been several huge losses that where I am today, who I am today, how I'm navigating life today was never supposed to be. <laughs> and I want to offer to you all, for those that are watching, those that have watched the replay, those that are listening, that part of our Rebuilding, restoring, renewing, and getting back out there and win again is to navigate that how things might be right now that totally unexpected. The life I'm living now, single mother of two, grandmother of two, um, having lost a son, divorced, survived a pandemic like all of you, um, father died, grandfather died, all of these things have happened in the last 10 years. Not to mention other things, had a major health crisis scare that should have taken my life, but it didn't. Praise God. Praise God. Right. And so all of that back to back to back to back to back has me in a place of the total unexpected. Where I am right now is totally unexpected. Nothing about my life looks anything like anything that was expected, like nothing. Right. That being the case, I had to say to this person, I'm navigating this life that I have right now. I enjoy my life. I love my life. I'm grateful for my life, but I'm also navigating it because I, I was not ready. I was not, it was not planned. It wasn't on my, it wasn't on my, nothing. (laughs) It was not on my bingo card board, my bingo board. Um, Nothing is like anything that was planned, expected, thought to be a possibility. And I'm navigating the unexpected. And I had to say to them, 
you're looking on the outside at me and you're thinking I am who I've always been. And I'm telling you, I'm not (laughs) because of all that's happened. I'm not the same person. And the truth is you're looking at someone who is currently navigating a life that has zero preparation for no plan, no preparation. And that's for a lot of people. So I'm not saying it like it's I'm the only one. I'm saying that so that I, you and I can get on the same page and recognize that this is life. Sometimes I know there's a meme out saying you're living the life you pray for. That is not my, that is, mm-mm, I'm not. And there are a lot of people that are not. There are people that are. Because I see that meme a lot on social media. You're living the life you pray for. Have you ever sat back and wondered, you're living the life you pray for? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Mm -mm. No, I'm not. No, as a matter of fact, I'm not. No, I'm not. (laughs) No, I'm not. And that's okay. Because I'm still grateful for my life. I still love my life. But I am navigating uncharted waters and here and you might be feeling the same way and here is what I want to say to you that in spite that those of us who are called to navigate uncharted waters I do believe this one point of inspiration motivation encouragement I do believe this that you have what it takes to navigate I am not living the life I pray for not in not not at all Not at all. There is nothing about my life, except for being alive, that was in on my bingo cards, my bingo, in my bingo board, wasn't in the cards, wasn't in the plan, wasn't even in the alternative plan. But I do believe this, that I have what it takes to navigate these waters. And what I want to, encouragement I want to give you today the, the win word I want to give you today is that you too, you too can navigate your waters. You have what it takes as unplanned, as unprepared, as unrecognizable as your life is now. You have what it takes to navigate these waters. I do not believe life is, is um, full of uh, coincidences and just things happening I believe that we have that the life that we have even if it's totally expected we have what it takes and so what I said to the person meeting my nothing about my life is what I planned that wasn't the plan that wasn't the deliverable that wasn't the proposed outcome nothing right but I'm navigating these waters I'm navigating these waters and I will get good at these waters and I will be and I will be a great navigator of these unexpected waters. And I want to say to you too, you have what it takes to navigate these uncharted waters. It's in you. This would not be your life. You would not be here if you didn't have it in you. I do believe that. I do believe God is not that that our life with God is not coincidental. And that I would not be here living this life if God didn't already put in me what's needed to navigate these waters. Now, these waters are tricky. These waters are dangerous. These waters are are unpleasant. But I do believe I have what it takes. I do believe you have what it takes. So I want to encourage you in this way as we talk about navigating the unexpected, part one. The first lesson, the first point I want to leave you with is that you have what it takes to navigate these unexpected waters. You would not be out here if you didn't. You would not be here if you couldn't. You would not be in this place if it wasn't in you to be able to navigate. Now, you may not have discovered what's in you. You may not have pulled out what's in you. You may not have tapped into the strength and the power and the courage and the gifting and the whatever is needed to navigate. You may not have pulled it out of you. But you have it. And I want to encourage you to begin to pull out what you need to navigate these unexpected waters. You have what it takes. God has given it to you. God has placed it in you. You just got him. I have God, Holy Spirit. So don't, you're not, this is not a work that you do only in isolation. There is some type of isolation. 
where you do have to spend time with self and dig down deep. Some self-awareness work. Do some self-awareness work. But I want to encourage you. I'm just here to encourage you. Part one of navigating the unexpected is that you have what it takes. God is not a God who does the coincidental. And I do believe if God has us here, if God has allowed us to be here, let me say that. If this is what the life is that, that, that God has for me now, not for forever, that God clearly must have put in me what I needed for this time. I'm thinking about young Timothy when Paul was preparing him for ministry. And he tells Timothy, stir up the gift within you. Timothy, you've got what it takes to navigate these waters. Friend, you've got what it takes to navigate these waters. All you have to do now is stir it up, pull it out of you, find it and pull it out of you because you have what it takes. And if there, if I could leave you with one affirmation, and that is this, I have everything I need in me to be where I am today. I have everything that I need within me to be where I am today. I have everything I need within me to be where I am today. You have what you need in you for whatever life is presenting you with right now or whatever life has brought you to this place. You have what you need within you. And so Paul's words to Timothy is stir up the gift. And my words to you, and I'm quoting Paul, stir up the gift within you. Stir up the gift within you. Tomorrow we're going to talk about how to stir that gift up. So join us for part two of our focus this week on navigating the unexpected. Thank you for joining us on Wake Up and Win Live with your girl, Dr. Najuma. Listen, like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. And let somebody know that they too can navigate unexpected waters because they have what they need on the inside. And like young Timothy, it's time to stir up the gift. I'm out, y'all. Peace. Thank you, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.